So this is the third of the Astartes inspired drawings that I made and I thought it'd be fun to wrap them up with a Primaris Marine. I say wrap them up because these drawings take quite a lot of time and I think I'm going to take a break from doing these for a little while at least. But I wanted to practice with something other than a Primaris Marine, maybe because I wanted to do a little bit more justice to um, the Mark 10 armor since it's something that I think we've, I've spent a few more drawings trying to make and so I wanted to get a lot more detail out of it and have a lot of the other techniques more or less resolved by this point, <laughs> if that's even possible. So mm, these drawings mm, start with a line drawing, usually a very sketchy line drawing, and then a more refined line drawing. And then I add some tones, some light and shadow underneath those line drawings. And then it goes into a lot of refining. So a lot of blending, a lot of blurring, and then adding more detail. And with these, when the detail gets lost, I'll add fresh lines or I'll bring out the layer from underneath of all the line work just to keep the geometry more or less in control and I'll even expand out and draw the entire figure as you saw just to make sure that certain pieces are fitting or that would make sense if you zoomed out but then I zoom back in to focus on the actual face and try to get as much detail as possible there so here I'm going around and just adding a little bit more detail to the armor, adding the the hoses in the backpack, making sure the eagle on the chest has nice reflection on it, and the hoses on the helmet, adding little things like those eye lenses. I considered adding a skull on the backpack, but I couldn't really quite get something that I liked in the end, so I just changed it up to something that I ended up pretty happy with, which is a kind of sensor on the backpack. But yeah, it's just a matter of going around, adding joints, adding details, blending some of those details, getting drawing those details back in, uh, adding some environmental elements like dust and pieces of lint that will get caught in the lights coming from the, the eye lens or the laser and maybe rendering out a little bit more detail on elements that are in the foreground, like the Auspex scanner, uh, which later on will be probably blurred out because it's really close to the, the viewer, so don't want it to be too, too crisp. I want it to be kind of, I want the focal point to be around the face. But once the figure is more or less resolved in terms of light and shadow and the geometry is set it's kind of fun zooming in and adding the battle damage or the reflected light coming from the auspex scanner the little bit of lightning i tried to add candles here as you can see and here i added that kind of scanner box on the backpack um but it's kind of a it, come, it becomes a drawing within a drawing within a drawing within a drawing, going around, adding just little fragments here, lenses there, adding the eagle on the forehead of the helmet. Um, but yeah, it's just a matter of working around the whole drawing, almost every inch of it, until you get the final result. And here it is. Thanks for watching.